as far as I've seen, anyway. Bodrus is a big player, obviously. Yeah, he's, he's a big uh, player, anyway. He works unselfishly for the team, really. Oh, it's fantastic, right? Oh! Goal! That's a goal, it's 1 0 to the New Saints. Great run from Simon Spender on the right wing. Really, it was all about pace there. Uh, and then Adrian Sidzovic at the back post just uh, side footed it. That's a goal from there. Okay, and goal to the New Saints in the 18th minute. Scored by Mark Adrian Sidzovic. I'm see who's taking it. I'll bite him again, thank you. Drives inside. Commits a player, takes him out, creates a bit of space for Chris Marriott. Chris Marriott with a great little dig ball into that front, he just hits it wide. Clears the ball. Oh. Oh. Right now the throw. Oh, the shock is holding just a little bit he short. Died. And it's been cut. Oh. Oh. The referee does disagree with me there. Michael Wilde played it around. And that's a great finish, as he said. Michael Wilde showing all his qualities there as a goal scorer. Taking it around the goalkeeper and calmly sotting it left foot into the near post area. Good goal, Fantastic yeah. finish. Yeah. Uh, well, after a lot of use, really, in the early sort of opening 20 minutes. He's uh, oh, oh, that was a penalty. That was a penalty, in all fairness. I thought that was a penalty, personally, for Arbus. I would Take control of the game again. Yeah. The, uh, the corner. I'm sure he's looking for us to come down on Saturday. Yeah, we're looking forward game. to him because um, I, I must admit, uh, as much as we I hope we've done okay, yeah, done I justice. We, I don't think we were catch on the ref. No, no, really don't. Uh, he's, he's the uh, star he of the show. Is, yes, and I, I, we would be very lost without him. Yeah. So if you're well, listening, ref, ref, hurry up back, please. Yeah. And oh, yes, got to be in. It's over the line. Yeah. It's a goal. Yeah. Wally! Yeah, 3-2 final score. What would you make of the game? It was a very good game, you know, not one for managers, not one for the faint hearted. You know, it was you know, there's plenty of controversy in it. You know, there could have been more penalties, there could have been goals that counted, not counted. You know, overall I think, you know, it's a, it's a great advertisement for Welsh Premier League football, but yeah, I thought overall probably deserved it with just our general play, I thought we'd done enough and created enough in the first half to to be two or three up in the first half. So, you know, but then again, you know, I'm sure Airbus would say the same about missing a penalty and probably deserving another penalty. You mentioned the penalties there, conceded two today. Yeah. Um, do you think that's just because of the way the game was in terms of the wind, obviously? Yeah, I think the wind played a big part in it and I also think as well, because obviously Airbus are dangerous from set players, you know, I thought the first probably 15-20 minutes of, of defending were not panicked but weren't as calm, it, it, in which it led to a bit of, a bit of sort of confusion and instead of just going right in the air, they're very good and they're organised and they're well drilled and dangerous, but just like let's defend it as a unit. I think we're sort of not I wouldn't say panicked, but I'd say, you know, we weren't as composed as what we probably should have been and just concentrated. If we can't win the first one, get the second ball, we'll, we'll keep it up together. Uh, great scenes at the end, obviously a last minute winner. Um, I think, is, is it indicative of the uh, the closeness of the squad, the way they celebrated there? Yeah, without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt. I've talked about it on many occasions and this has been detrimental to, to the, the previous two seasons. But I definitely think the squad we've got here is a bit more tight knit. It's um, got a bit more steely determination. It just got, it's just almost like a perfect squad, if you like. You know, 
will to win. We've got to steal the determination. We've got quality. We've got, you know, we've got everything in the, in, in the squad. And, you know, and I'm looking in. I've only got one injury, Sam Finley. You know, and I've got a, I've got a headache now, and I'm going to have a headache in the in the near future. So, you know, it's it, it's brilliant. You know, and, and that's you know, I think you look at you look at we're celebrating that goal at the end. Obviously, it has meant a lot because in the last season there's been nothing to split the teams. No, it's been four draws. You know, and it was a big, big win for her. You know, especially coming away from home and win. You know, and especially I think the lads were a little bit disappointed with the result last last week. You know, but we just proved today that you know how much, how much sort of hunger. TNS have always been thrown at them that have got a bit of a soft centre, a bit thick. They'll play great football, but but today you look at that steely determination. You look at that going right till the end. You know, and, and, and we, I think, I think, you know, got what we deserve. And just finally, looking towards the game next week against Bristol. Yeah. They lost four 0 against Druids today. Struggling a bit, third bottom of the table. What do you think? Yeah, then obviously getting a bad result today was it's going to give them more to fight back and more money to pick a result on next week. So it's going to be a tough result. You know, we're going to get the backlash of it. Prestatton have done great. You know, Prestatton have, have been brilliant since we've been in the league. Against them, you know, it's obviously putting their results together in the end of the season, then, then that's what counts. Thank you very much, Greg. Cheers. No problem.